Hey YouTubers, today I would like to show you another review of the Olympus E1. This is basically my second Olympus I own and I received this here with the regular kit lens, the 14-45 and this version or this copy has been used pretty much. You can see I had to paint it a little bit. The leather it so to say was kind of off and i had to glue it back on and i painted it and it looks really good i think and all in all this is a heavy heavy duty camera absolutely lately and i've seen on other users that when you take pictures on certain circumstances you have in the background some artifacts where the colors don't display correctly. I'm not sure if it's the, the sensor, the Kodak sensor, or is it the light environment? I do not know, but for some reason it bothers me, I must say, because I rather like clean pictures like everybody else, of course. So, but still, this is a heavy duty camera. You can knock nails into the wall with that if necessarily, <laughs> but uh, don't do it. But like I say, I had also the E3 and for some reason, the E3 was a kind of the same caliber, so to say, heavy duty, magnesium body, very nice ergonomics in the handling. But the live view didn't convince me and it only had 4 to 3 ratio factor and not even 3 to 2. So I don't know. The E5 is too expensive. I don't need if I stumble over it cheap, I will get it, but I will not buy it necessarily. So, but the Olympus E1 it's really a great camera. It is kind of quiet when you expose. Let me show it to you. So, just listen. It is real quick and at the tiff, of course, it takes a while to write on to the, onto the CF cards. And this is a weather sealed body, of course, we know that. And it's got a special lock here. And this is the CF card slot. And you also can get a battery grip handle. But for fun and just to shoot some regular pictures, this is a nice camera especially also for portrait you also could have put a external monitor on there of course it will be vga or no high resolution if you would like to have a better overview after you shot the picture but all in all this is still a relevant camera for 2022 conditionally yes five megapixels reaching its limits because like I mentioned I recognized some artifacts I will show it to you like I say I'm not 100% sure if it's the camera the sensor or how I'm taking picture or the light environment but let me focus here yeah. now now we are much better in focus yes so you have a lot of possibilities of course but the only thing what I also couldn't find and yesterday bad weather cloudy gray everything I tried to take some pictures in black and white there is no option for black and white picture taking maybe that's a factor being professional camera I don't know basically another indicator is of course that there is no built-in flash 
and you can do that afterwards in post-production in your Photoshop or any other picture program and I have you can use that with all the four thirds lenses and right now I have this 3.5-35 millimeter macro lens I really like that lens I wish it would be a little bit less in the focal lengths well in that moment I most likely have to buy a pancake I think there was a 17 and 25 but like I say I'm not sure if I invest I have so many cameras so I'm satisfied with this here and I just want to give you another quick look at this heavy duty camera really really heavy duty uh, it's a brick it's totally magnesium and you can do many things with it of course it's got the PASM which is locked this is professional indicator that means you can it is locked into A or P or S or M so you not accidentally rotate that you have many many buttons on the outside which is another professional indicator because you don't have to dive into the menu so for that reason you have bracketing you have a drive mode for remote control or for self timer 2 and 10 seconds and of course the continuous shooting or single shooting and here you can switch between your measuring methods you have to this is for for the picture size and quality you have a light button the ISO is accessible right now or right there you have the white balance button your AF selection I think it's got only three which is fine that's all technique this is the menu button basically and you got your cross function buttons here so yeah and okay of course yeah and another indicator for professional is you can close the, the ocular the viewfinder you can close it so when you take remote pictures you know on, on the tripod and you may have some backlight which could uh, interfere with the measuring so you can close that so no additional light goes in there only from the front which is relevant and yeah there's an intro button whatever like when you would like to know the settings currently if ever it wants to maybe it is only when you review your pictures then you get the info yeah second picture attaining and super high quality yeah that's all the info I get right now with this button it's fine we have many information here on the display and of course we got a light button yeah, this is just a brief introduction of a real old camera which is still, like I mentioned, relevant for, 2000, for 2022 conditionally because, like I say, the art artifacts in the pictures here and there no like. Anyway, you're gonna see at the end some pictures and with this said, thanks for watching.